like that. That's where my engine was parked this morning. Looks fine. It is so cold out. Like, I try to put a video out every every week, but just, I, it's been so cold this week. Right now it's minus 36 degrees Celsius without the wind chill. With the wind chill, it feels like minus 50. So it's cold, um, but we're gonna go to the shop. Uh, I started my truck this morning, it was plugged in, but it started like it wasn't plugged in. So something must be wrong with my block heater. Uh, so now I gotta go check that out and see if it's good or maybe my, Cable's bad, I don't know, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the shop. Holy smokes, look at little Caesars drive through. I don't think I've ever seen more than two cars in the drive through here, so people must be wanting their pizza. Another interesting thing look at this store right here Prairie Records, it's called. That is a marijuana store, a legal marijuana store, because in Canada it's legal. Uh, you can just, if you're over the age of I think it's 19, you can just go there and buy weed. All right, so like I said, it's super cold outside. This morning I went to start my truck before I went to the gym and it was plugged in all night and I hit the remote start and I always kind of listen for it just to make sure it sounds good. And it didn't even start, it, the, the engine barely rolled over. So I went out and I cold started it. I let the grid heater go on for more, uh, you know, a couple times like I did in my previous video I posted last week. So yeah, I uh, found that this, Block heater cord is the culprit. There must be a break in the wire somewhere. Um, but yeah, I actually tested my, my block heater and it's fine, but this cord is the culprit and I have a new one at the shop, I think. So I'm just gonna quickly change that out. This should be the same cord. So I'm just gonna have to hook that up and then hopefully I don't gotta cold start my truck again tomorrow. So something else that I bought where are they? I think they're way up here. Oh. Yeah, right here, this is what I want. All right, so I was on Instagram and you know when you get those stupid ads that come up? Well, I got these ads for these horns that are 300 decibel train horns and they're only like $30 Canadian. I've saw the ad a few times. I actually screen recorded the ad. The ad is hilarious. I'm gonna play the ad right away here. But uh, yeah, I bought them because I was like, let's, I wanna actually hook these things up to a battery and see what they sound like. So I'm gonna play this ad that I saw and then we're gonna have a look at uh, <laughs> these horns, these, these 300 decibel train horns that only cost $30. So I'm excited to see. <laughs> Bronx is excited to see. Actually, no, he's probably gonna hate it. Okay, so I have not, like this is how, when I opened the package, this is how it came. Like completely open like this, falling apart, you know. This is how these horns came. So terrible packaging, which is what I would expect. Um, but yeah, I wanna see what they actually sound like. But first, I'm just gonna quickly throw this new cord in the truck because that is priority over testing out some cheap Chinese horns. If anyone's wondering where the block heater is on a 5.9 Cummins, I'll try to show you, it's right there. I don't know if you can see that kind of behind that, uh, that oil line, but basically here's your oil filter and it's just kind of right under in there. That's where it goes. So I actually texted the resistance on my block heater and it was 28 or 26 ohms, something like that. That's good. Uh, it was my cable that had uh, no, uh, no, uh, it was an open, open circuit. So it wasn't actually getting power through it. So just got to put this new cable in and run it to the front. And that's it for this. All right there, check and resistance. It's 19.7 uh, ohms is what I'm getting now on this new uh, cord. And this is what it looked like before. It just said OL when I had both the leads connected. Just said OL, which means overload. It means it's not going through. So zip tie this up and let's go listen to some horns. Okay, so I'm gonna play you the ad right now for these uh, train horns and let me know what you think. Keep in mind, it's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so there's no instructions for these or anything. Um, yeah, whatever. I got I got this one just stuck in the vise. I got a battery charger right here. Uh, if I put the positive on there, I can put the negative on. We can see what it sounds like. I have no idea what it's going to sound like, but uh, I am almost, well, I am 100% sure it is not going to sound like the horns that were in that ad. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay, okay, that is not at all what it sounds like in the uh, in the ad. What do you think, Bronx? Do it again. Wow, that's that's hilarious. Basically, I spent thirty dollars just to prove something uh, that I already knew it was going to sound like that. Um, on the bright side though, I do actually have some real train horns here from Horn Blasters that I'm going to be putting on my truck. So we can test those out right now to see what they sound like. So here are some horns from Horn Blaster that I got. I haven't put them on my truck yet, obviously. I will be doing that in the next week or two here. Uh, but see how there's four horns. These are air horns, which is like a train horn. They run on air. And see how they're all a little bit different length. You got your longest one all the way down to your shortest one. It's because they all make a different tone when you blow air through them. So uh, let's see what these things sound like because we already know what uh, what these you know pieces of garbage sound like. The 30, 300 decibel train horn. Well, let's see what these ones sound like. I'm gonna start with the smallest one and go bigger from there. Oh, that was way louder than I thought. Oh. Try this one. A little bit lower, a little bit easier on the ears. Woo, he's real loud. And my personal favorite. Yeah. If you're gonna do this, Put in some earplugs. What's up? It's okay. He's a little freaked out, hey? Where'd you go? It's all good. Well, now you know, if you see a little ad for these air horns, uh, don't believe it. It's a total scam. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to see, I don't know. I don't know why I bought them. I just really wanted, I thought it would make a funny video and I, I wanted to see what they actually sound like. So probably gonna be throwing these right in the garbage or else I'll give them to my coworker who might throw them on his uh, 12 valve Cummins he just bought because better than not having any horns, I guess. But yeah, sorry guys, not really the best video this week. It is so cold where I live right now. You know, minus 40 plus wind chill every single day. So. I wanna get some good content for you guys. It's just a little hard when, first of all, we only get like seven hours of daylight right now. Um, and I spend most of that working, obviously. And uh, and it's just so cold. So it sucks to film outside and stuff like that. So bear with me. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel like crazy. And follow me on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel. But thanks guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.